Hey guys, hope you're good. I'm here today to show you a few new things uh, related to my personal workflow. So I've made a few uh, little tests after seeing, uh, seeing again the non-video um, by Ashtorp and Christopher Bjer. Super nice, um, moody video with a lot of uh, volumetrics. So I was just playing around in uh, Cinema 4D, trying a uh, few things and uh, nothing, nothing great, but I use um, a new technique to place my layer and today I want to show you uh, how I work. So it's not an A to Z tutorial, but more a tutorial about my workflow. Thank you for watching and if you are new to the community, I invite you to join our Facebook group called uh, Motion Designers Community. See uh, every day a super nice uh, animation and uh, image by all the community. Just type Motion Designers Community on Facebook and you can also join us on Discord. Uh, talk with people, share your work, and uh, that's uh, an angry wonder. <laughs> and um, have fun with the community and as well check out the website with the latest contests, events and all the stuff. Let's start and take a look at uh, how to create this kind of um, this kind of render. So let's delete just everything and let's create a simple um, plan. I have here a sample kit from uh, Kitbash 3D just um, <coughs> just few things nothing uh, incredible but few few things to place and I want to show you a new workflow uh, to place your object it's uh, with the new uh, magic uh, nitro draw plugin nitro draw plugin allow you to make a bunch of stuff like you can create uh, an object and uh, place it uh, where you want so just have a simple object and hit uh, spacebar you will be able to uh, place it that's the first thing uh, about this uh, this plugin you can also create your own brush and that's what we are going to do uh, with all the kit bash settings and you can also draw a lot of great stuff like splines, um, draw spaghetti. Uh, let's see. It's just going through the flow, maybe bigger size. Okay, I can, I can have like small spaghetti. It was the preview on Instagram. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, you can have meta ball brushes, great chocolate, blue and stuff. Boolean, Boolean brush actually, pretty nice brush. Uh, it's like a magic Boolean. I have one sphere. Let's uh, duplicate. Let's select. Let's hit spacebar and let's change by clicking Z go to offset zero and see I can just create a interesting booleans just by uh, clicking on my object um, pretty nice thing and that's that's an object pretty nice and also the volume uh, the volume volume brush so you have an object change the size take it volume you can draw volume that's way too big it again spacebar like if the if it not updates and see I have a volume right here with all of my objects okay super super nice I'm just super happy with all these tools and what I want to do is to place all 
the CD elements on the scene. So just click on Nitro Draw and you can open the palette. And here you will be able to drag and drop any kind of object. And you will be able by a simple click to change your brush. So I already dropped all the samples and let's take a look at um, how to place the elements so let's lock it there select simple brush you can change the mode there this mode is like free uh, place placing so stay with the, this let's click here and see I can like um, place my object, place another object, and here I have all the controls. Like I can move, I can scale, I can rotate my object. If you hit uh, like shift, you can at any moment uh, delete something. Maybe strange because the basic uh, Cinema 4D delete stuff is uh, with control, but no one cares, just use Z to access all the little um, settings spacebar to take the control of an object you want to place and um, shift if you want to delete stuff at any moment you can like hit Z change the um, offset and place it I love the way uh, you can place elements like this because it's by far more uh, free to to create like an object, clone it, and um, as it's also stick on the other surface. So I really like uh, the way uh, you can create stuff. So let's just play and create something real quick. Just to show you uh, how fast you can create stuff. I think also you can go to brush and uh, click instance. It will create a uh, render instance instead of uh, creating um, objects. So it will take uh, less memory. Just, just up to you to select the thing you need uh, just create object okay place elements I'm just making something really quick and dirty just to show you how fast I can create something I'm not happy I can hit shift at any moment and delete any clone it's for nice select so uh, change the place. Uh, it will rotate around the axis. So some objects may have some weird um, stuff happening. It's because of the the way the axes are. Um. So okay, I have something looks like something really basic. Uh, that's all for the Nitro Draw. Uh, just want to show you this plugin because it's deeply incredible. You can find it under uh, Nitro 4D product Nitro Draw. Super nice. You can just have tutorial by the creator. Let's see um, <laughs> how you can create uh, this. Uh, kind of mode under redshift uh, it's also super fast like I said I was just playing and testing stuff for uh, an upcoming uh, short film we are doing so just playing testing stuff I'm here with redshift um, increase a bit the samples get some GI brute force irradiance point cloud Everything is okay. And just open the Redshift render view. Let's 
create a new render. Wait a bit. That's super ugly. Um, super ugly, but I will deal uh, with this. Okay, let's create right now a few objects. Redshift, Redshift camera, standard camera, Redshift, Redshift environment, Redshift light, Redshift dome light. Let's create a lighting, right click, uh, HDRI link, just drag and drop your, um, your dome map of something probably better than uh, the beginning because you will have an HDRI lighting looks dope I think that's something nice um, second step is to create um, it's to create an environment so up a bit the scattering, maybe 0 0.5 attenuation, go to 2 let's change the fog to something like this this is all the like we scatter this is the fog attenuation with 0 I have no fog, with 2 I have a huge amount of the fog and of course everything is based on the uh, since scale let's wait a bit okay I have a bit of fog and I can also add a little bit of scattering right here 0 0.1 let's check that's way too high 0 0.01 0 0.05 that's something I I like. Maybe I will decrease a bit the global scattering 0 0.035, 1.5, just to get a different look. Okay, it's pretty nice. High contrast. Uh, nice. I want now to add something with a uh, volume or anything. I will just add some point light, nothing crazy, just show all the, the light works and see maybe let's try something right there. Go to your point light, see what's happening, nothing. Let's crank the scale to something like 1. Let's wait a bit. Let's maybe change something right there. I don't know. Just testing stuff. Let's go to general and check intensity multiplier. Try try things. Light. I like volumetrics. Just take the, the time to play with something, change color, change mode, uh, play with stuff. It's just up to you. Maybe that's a sun, I don't know. Okay, the image is bit nice and I can add a few uh, elements to it with the new um, redshift camera you have a new set of stuff like um, go there you have color man management, LUT, color control and I can directly post process my image 
under Redshift. You can do all this in post, but that's fun to have a bit of control directly inside your renderer. You can also add some bloom. That's always fun. Let's see what's going on. Let's decrease the threshold, increase softness, and let's take a look at a final render. That's nice, that's something with a little bit of mood and stuff and I think you just need to play with uh, post-production, lighting and stuff to create uh, your own uh, look. Hope you guys uh, enjoy this really small video. Uh, you can do a lot of things with the Nitro Draw plugin and Redshift of course. Uh, check known by Ashtorp, really inspiring. Of course I do not want to have the same uh, look but the, the really high volume uh, piece are super nice. Also that's by Ashtorp and Christopher Chia. Do not forget uh, Christopher. Um, thank you for watching this video and see you next time for more uh, tips. Bye!